Oh. Hello, Nassim. Okay, I can hear you. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? Fine, and you? Um, how do you react when Xavi Gans offered you the main role in Mayhem? And how was your first meeting with him? My first meeting with Xavier, it was, um, it was, it's funny because my first meeting was on Instagram mm -hmm. and I, I was talking uh, with him because I, I had to pass an audition for a Gangs of London season two. So I, um, sent, I've sent my tape to Xavier to know, uh, what I think about it. And then he was like, I'm not going to do this season two but let's have a coffee together in Paris so we had that coffee together and then you know the rest <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, can you share your finding experience in Thailand and France especially in location like French prison in France and the village of Bang Shan uh, so can you can you just yeah, say it sorry. again Can you share your filming experience in Thailand and France, especially in locations like French Prison, uh, Prison Fren, and the village of Bang Shan? Uh, so first, so for the French part, um, shooting uh, in the jail was like really exciting because we managed to shoot in a real prison. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was easier to to feel the vibe and to uh, to be on the shoes of like a convict <laughs> because all the set was real. And uh, the Thai part was like, uh, it was just uh, a dream because like, you know, back then it was COVID and it was winter in France, but like in Thailand, it was like uh, summer. And the um, Bang Chan, the little village, it's a fisherman village. And the Thai people were so welcoming. Uh, this village is so beautiful. And so for me, it was just like, I felt that like it was the, the dream location, you know? Yeah. What brought you to the Mayhem script? And how did you prepare you for your character, Sam, a former gang member on a redemption journey? So uh, a, the, the first part of the question, Sorry, what drew you to the main aim script? And how did you prepare for your character, Sam, a former gang member on Redemption Journey? Uh, so um, what I liked in the script was that, mm. uh, you know, Sam, what makes, it, what makes it different from other action films is the emotional side to it, you know? Um, Sam is more vulnerable, he has cracks, failures, and that makes him more human than the typical action hero, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what made me fall in love with the script. And I also like the pace because, you know, um, as opposed to other action movies where it's just action, 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 action here, uh, we take the time and to put like, all this stuff and then it's going like the, the pace is very slow in the beginning and it goes up and high and high and high and, and then it explode and that's what i really like uh on the script and um and what was the second part of the question um the place where you shoot in thailand did you like it The place where I shouldn't, yeah, in Thailand, like uh, as I told you before, like it was a, uh, it was a dream set, and like we managed to shoot in Bangkok, yeah. uh, Bang Chan, uh, which is the fisherman village, and also um, what was the third part? Uh, Phuket. We went okay. to Phuket, and um, you know we were on the beach all the time. The weather was amazing. The the Thai crew was. Uh, welcoming and like yeah I I really loved it as a French kickboxing champion how did you prepare your experience in the film fight scene to make them authentic as possible so uh, as you said like I um, I used to be a, a kickboxing champion so I uh, I know that the kickboxing part was easy for me because it was like stuff that I've done like my entire life The, the real challenge was more 
to learn the crazy choreography that Jude Poyers had put on. And, uh, and for that, I had to work a month and a half prior to the shooting with um, Jude and his um, French homologue, Olivier Sa. Mm -hmm. And I just had to learn by heart uh, the choreography, just like if it was a dance. And once uh, <clears throat> that, and once like Jude thought that it was good, we um, we were locking like that scene, and then we were able to work on another scene, and we we're doing like this all the time, and, and it was great. Can you tell us about your collaboration with the fight choreographer Judy Royer, and how you working on action scene, particularly in the elevator? So that's one of my favorite scenes, and yeah. like. Working with Jude was uh, an amazing chance because like right before that, it's funny because I was a huge fan of both Xavier's films and Jude works because uh, Gangs of London or um, uh, The Red, The Red uh, 1 and 2, uh, Jude was also the action designer. And so working with him was, I'm very lucky and especially for a French actor and it was uh, uh, a beautiful experience, but like it's way more hard than working with like French action designer because uh, Jude's style is the Hong Kong cinema style. And for example, the elevator scene, you can think that it's a sequence shot, but there is more than a hundred of shots on that scene. So it was really hard. It made us four days to shoot that scene and four days in a very small elevator because it was a real life size elevator and the temperature was so high. So it was very hard, but the result is amazing. And uh, if I had to do it again, I'll do it like without hesitating. So, the film yeah. explores themes of redemption, destiny, and vengeance. How did you approach the emotional aspect in your portrayal of Sam? Uh, how how did I approach that that, that aspect? I, I was just because me in real life, I'm more uh, I'm more extroverted. I'm not like introverted like him. So what I was doing is that. Xavier would come up to me and told me, okay, Nassim, what we're going to do is like, when you arrive on set, I, I wasn't like allowed to speak to anyone. So I wasn't talking to, uh, and the, the only time that I could talk was like on my lines. And you know, uh, Sam is a man of a few words. So I, I don't, I'm not very talkative in the movie, but like to, to put myself on Sam's shoes, yeah, I was trying to speak to no one on set and just uh, speak when I had to do my lines. And it was tricky. Of... Sorry. Sorry. Miam offers a unique approach to French action cinema. How do you think the film distinguishes itself from other genre production in France? Uh... But in France, I bet first by the by all of the crazy action scenes that were brought up by Jude, Jude's work, uh, and like I've never seen before uh, Mayhem. I've never seen a French action movie with that level of action. Never ever. So uh, in that, that what makes him like so different from other genre French movie. It's like the. Thank oh. you. Have a good day. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.